When you are out grocery shopping, you may not realize what is watching you. Some supermarkets are using facial recognition technology to catch thieves. But as CBS 2's Christy Kalishian reports, shoppers have questions about privacy. On the front door of four Fairway supermarket locations, you'll see this sign, letting you know it collects or shares biometric information, including eye scans and voice prints. That, the cheese sign and the grapes, but not, not the uh, surveillance yet. I mean, it would be nice if we caught somebody once in a while, and I think the store is trying to prevent that from happening inside the store. The NYPD says Lower Manhattan has the highest post-pandemic spike in chain store shoplifting, up more than 6% from last year. Fairway's parent company, Wakefern, said, quote, retail theft and shoplifting has a high rate of repeat offense and drives up grocery costs for all customers. We have found that this technology is helping prevent more crime in store. The face has certain nodes that can't, are unique, just like fingerprints are unique. Manny Gomez, president of MG Security Services, agrees with its use. This is a step in the right direction, in my opinion. If you have nothing to hide, then you have nothing to hide. Do you see foresee more stores using this technology? Absolutely. It's, it's efficient, it's effective, and it's cost effective. Venues like Madison Square Garden and Radio City Music Hall have faced backlash for also using biometric face scanning. Their chairman, James Dolan, says it's used to ban lawyers involved in litigation against the venues. Amazon is being sued for allegedly not posting signage about its use of biometric technology at its Amazon Go locations, which is required by law. A spokesperson clarified that it does not use facial recognition, but said, quote, these individuals are provided the appropriate privacy disclosures during the enrollment process. The customer is always in control of when they choose to be identified using their palm. Some feel they're shopping with Big Brother watching over, while others hope it cuts down on crime. I could see it being sort of an invasion of privacy for some people. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see if it's effective. In Midtown, Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News.